Hi, this is Mike Pucciarelli, and today I'm going to be talking about a tool called Image Processor, which is located in the Tools menu under the Photoshop Tools. It's this tool. And I already got my JPEG selected, or raw file selected. I'm first going to convert this file to sRGB because this is great for posting on the web. This file should not be used when pasting, copying and pasting this image in Photoshop. I'm going to do it two ways for teaching purposes. This is the JPEG. I'm going to show you the settings. So the profile is sRGB. I'm going to do the same thing, same raw file. Now, I'm not going to convert this because I'm going to copy this. I'm going to copy and paste this file in Photoshop. I'm going to change the name of this file. We come over here. We're in the Windows. See the color mode? The profile is RGB, not sRGB. And then I'm going to go into Photoshop. I'm going to do this. I'm going to open up the file. I'm going to open up the file with the sRGB profile. See, you get this error message. You don't want to do that. You don't want to mix RGB with sRGB. You don't want to do that. That messes up the color. Then I'm going to put the other file. And you should not get this error message because I'm working with RGB. I'm not combining sRGB and RGB. I'm going to copy this file. Watch what happens when you try to paste the sRGB.
First, we'll get here. That's not good to convert. And then when you copy and paste, you really mess up the pixels and image. When you copy and paste, you may get a message, but you'll say the same thing. So you get this. So you don't want to mess RGB with R sRGB with RGB. See that? That's why, you know, this is RGB color profile. And this file this is also RGB. I'm going to copy and paste. You won't get that ugly error message. Thank you for listening to this short tutorial on the image processor with RGB and sRGB. I'm trying to summarize that sRGB is for just posting on the web. It should not be used for copying and pasting in Photoshop because the Photoshop file, the source is RGB. So we want to make sure that the profile of the JPEG is RGB. And if you use the same color profiles, you won't get that error message. Thank you for listening to this short webinar.